issue of SME and farmers' crisis in the country is an, is an issue that has been affecting the peace of the nation. Almost every part of the country has experienced some sorts of issue that is related to herders and farmers' clashes. Recently, trucks carrying foodstuffs from the north to the south were blocked from going from the north. And it not only that, even trucks that transport cows from north to south went on strike. All these issues have some relations with the herders and farmers' clash that the country is experiencing. A lot of people have been reacting to the incident, and people have been giving their own opinion on how the issue can be permanently resolved. Adamugaba have been reacting to the issue, and he has been sharing his own opinion on how to resolve the issue. He sends a strong advice to the federal government on what they need to do about the issue and what they should not do to the Fulani headers. In his tweet, Adam Ugaba said that the federal government should kindly reconsider their stand. They should drop their grandstanding and negotiate with Fulani headers. He said that an average Fulani person will reason well and understand the meaning of authority or power and that they shouldn't criminalize the old for the sake of very few. He concluded by saying that the Fulanis love Nigeria. And from his tweet, he said, Dear federal government, kindly reconsider your stand, drop your grandstanding and negotiate with the Fulani headers. An average Fulani person reason well and understand the meaning of authority or power. Do not criminalize the old for the sake of few. Yes. I don't understand uh, what uh, Damugaba is trying to say, that he should negotiate with them based on what? Are they the ones, are they the, are they the ones affected? Because they are the ones with AK-47 going about taking people's lives, going to people's farm to destroy it. The hypocrisy about these people is that, is, okay, okay, that means they have agreed that all the crimes being committed that the people are com- coming out to talk about, they have agreed that, yes, indeed, it happened. The question we've been asking, the few ones that you are talking, they are very, very, they are all over the place. What has been done to them? And, of course, they try to, we know that uh, the so-called bandits that we are hearing them up and down, they are the same people uh, that, uh, you know, this is the same uh, S-men that are involved, they are the same, they are the same people committing the same atrocities, they just change their name. The bandits are the S-men, so they negotiate with them based on what. These people, <sighs> something is really wrong with, with them over there. And more so, they are the ones who carry AK-47. You are telling the government not to uh, not to do, no, not to shoot at sight because that is what uh, the president has said because since he bowed to pressure to be able to deal with them, we are not saying all criminals, all Fulanis are criminal. It's, it's not going to be... Uh, fair for someone to say that. But the ones that are criminals, what are you doing about them? You are pampering them. You are pampering them. You want them to, you want the government to negotiate with them to be continue to give them money because that is the reason why your the north is is what it is today. All forms of cre- a, a crime is just embedded in that place because you always support evil. You don't nail the 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 uh, you don't you don't you don't you don't say it the way it is. You always pamper. That's why you have fashions of a, 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 a criminals here and there. In the South, there are pockets of criminals, but they are on individual. And the worst part of it is that the so-called security agencies, they don't waste time in arresting anybody from the South. If you are, if they catch you, mm-mm. the next thing they will give you media trial. They will show you to the whole world. Even when they have not even investigated, they will begin to show the world. They have already concluded the person must have not been taken to court, but they will try to paint it to them that oh these people are criminal but when it comes to the full full that we are that we are talking about if really you have made them on the board you will be we have would have gone out of this whole thing to negotiate with them and he said that a uh, full understand power and authority no because if they understand power and authority most of the states that have given order that they don't want open grazing they would have obeyed they would have stood by that and I know because of the government that is still giving them that backing, that is why they are so lawless. They had to go and bring 
people from outside because they know that the ones, the Fulanis who have been living with the host communities will not have that mindset. They will not have that liver, like we always talk about liver, to be able to attack those ones they have been, they have been living with. That's why they are bringing those ones who do not even know they are left from their right. Of course, if you don't know anybody, you can do whatever you like to anybody because the conscience is not there. But the worst part of it is that you that you are here, you are not condemning the action. You are not condemning the act because you all know what is happening. They should negotiate with them. That means you they, they, you are confirming that, yes, they are, they, are, they are the ones that have been terrorizing the people. I get this part of your manifesto in seeking tickets okay it's seeking tickets for <laughs> no um someone says what exactly is your point are you saying it is the right of fulani headers to carry ak-47 i don't understand you gaba the government should also go to all the nigerian prisons and negotiate with all the murderers and kidnappers what is good for the criminals is good for everyone is shikena there should be no negotiation with terrorists anybody who carries gun should be killed as Baba ordered. Absolute truth. That is the main reason I want to be the president of this country. You always stand on the truth, no matter what. <laughs> that is why. That is the main reason I want you. Oh, this person is saying he wants a Gaba, Adamu Gaba, to be president. Good and fine. Um. Okay. What is this man talking about? Who are Fulani headers? You are just seeking attention, Gaba Adamu. We have been told that Fulani is not synonymous with bandits, kidnappers, or terrorists. So, what are we supposed to negotiate about? The question people are putting up to Adamu Gaba. Like, seriously, I feel your pain, bro. But believe me, you need deliverance in seven different churches. Miss, Mr. Gaba should get party for... Okay, Mrs. Gaba should get party for her immense contribution for a better Nigeria. Hmm. Now you are begging, Abby, when they were misbehaving, you were either quiet or were supporting them, and the federal government has been silent. Now you know the federal government has the ultimate authority. Who is Bubu safe? An Awusa man? Well, are Fulani's indigenous to Nigeria? Fulani have been in Nigeria before everyone here. That was what Gaba is saying. <laughs> yes. And plead with them to negotiate with Evans too. Yes, yeah, so if you are negotiating, they should negotiate with Evans too. Also, Boko Haram, ICC, even Akida too. Which other terrorist groups are you affiliated to? <laughs> you see what these people are up to. If the Fulanis really believe in the unity of Nigeria, let them purge themselves of the criminal elements in their fold. Charity, they say, begins at home. You are only playing to the gallery. Tell your Fulani elders to embrace ranching. Nomadic method they are using is a cake. To negotiate with Fulani for governments to settle them or use government funds to run their personal businesses. The sponsors of Fulani invasion are showing their faces by their words. We know them. What else do they need after negotiating? After negotiation, after that, they want to still carry AK-47 continue in your deceit so guys let's say your opinion concerning what adamu gaba said